chaos is nature's way of releasing energy. When we think of car crashes, cue balls, and theoretical black boxes, objects slam against objects and translate motion into sparks of rebellion and repulsion. The first law of thermodynamics stresses conservation. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. We cycle through states of kinetic energy turned into potential, later to be turned back kinetic with dissipated heat. The second law reminds us that disorder is homeostatic, that energy must be spent in order to create order. Often overlooked but most important, the third law suggests that at absolute zero there is a constant state of being. The implications are that by heating up the system, we create possibilities. Just to get the ball rolling, we need a push. We require investment to create momentum. The first law teaches us that work can be transformed into energy. However, the fruits of our labors are often lost in unproductive ways. We become inefficient, and while our returns are limited by the amount of effort put into the system, often our investment is lost in the forms of bad timing and redundancy. We struggle with noise and collide with others working in competition instead of cooperation with our goals. We put on blinders and become vectors focused on our magnitude but ignorant of our direction. Imagine a black box containing those who work, learn, and teach in academic medical centers. For this thought experiment, do not think outside the box. Concentrate on those within. Have awareness of your walls and constraints. Focus, align, reflect. Do you acknowledge those around you? Do you communicate effectively? Can you lead and follow? When you collide, how likely are you to bounce back and take advantage of your new position? What energizes your system? Do you lack funding and resources but have great ideas? Has your enthusiasm been swept away? Can you support the growth of others? Can you collaborate? Are you a pendulum swinging with certainty? Or are you dynamic and elastic? What elevates you to your full potential? Do you need to slow down and focus only to find yourself propelled by a pinball flipper? You are in control, and then you're not. It's okay. It's all a game anyways. Did you remember the patient? Created using Powtoon.